World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Blood Blisters in the Mouth Angina bullosa hemorrhagic ABH, is a disease in which blood-filled blisters form in the mouth. Sometimes, they can go away and come back over time. In fact, they can come back several times within a few months. They mostly affect people between the fifth and seventh decade of life, regardless of gender. Could you explain to us what the blisters are? Blisters are sacs filled with blood or other fluids that can form in some areas of the mouth, such as the palate, tongue, or inside of the cheek. When they are blood blisters, a clot forms inside them, giving them a dark red or purple appearance. Blood blisters in the mouth are a relatively common condition that can be an uncomfortable and unpleasant experience. How can we differentiate a blood blister? Blood blisters are usually distinguished by Place of appearance They usually form in areas exposed to trauma, bites, areas where dentures are fitted, places where anesthesia has been applied, among others. The most frequent site of formation is the posterior part of the palate. Formation time It forms quickly and lasts a few minutes or hours before bursting, that is, before all the liquid inside comes out. Healing time. Once the blister has broken, there is usually a wound, called an ulcer, that will take between three and 10 days to heal. Quantity. They usually appear isolated. That is, they are usually unique. Size. They reach an average size between one and three centimeters in diameter. What does it feel like to have a blood blister in your mouth? In most cases, blood blisters appear in the mouth and do not generate any symptoms other than a bulge in the area. But some people may feel pain that may be light or stabbing, or a burning sensation just before the blister forms. These usually last only a few minutes or hours before rupturing, leaving a shallow sore that will take 3 to 10 days to heal. What are the causes of angina bullosa hemorrhagic ABH? The most obvious cause of hemorrhagic bullous angina is trauma. When the mucosa is injured, these blisters are more likely to form. In the mouth, trauma can be generated by various situations. Consumption of very hard, crunchy, or hot foods. Bites on the inside of the cheek or on the tongue. Medical procedures that can hurt the mouth, such as an endoscopy. Ill-fitting dentures orthodontic appliances that lacerate the mucosa, allergic reactions, dental restorations, healings or shims, poorly adapted or with sharp edges, dental procedures such as the application of anesthesia or cleanings, other factors such as the use of medications such as inhaled corticosteroids, inhalers to treat respiratory conditions can weaken the oral mucosa and facilitate blistering and bleeding when trauma occurs. How are blood blisters treated? Blood blisters usually heal quickly and do not require treatment. Ulcers that remain after the blister has burst and are painful or uncomfortable are treated. Some tips that could be useful to alleviate the discomfort are Ice Placing ice on the ulcer for 10 minutes several times a day helps reduce inflammation and can provide a feeling of relief. Rinses with calendula or chamomile can help reduce inflammation. Sliced Cucumber Cucumber has properties that promote healing. Placing a slice of cucumber on the ulcer several times a day for a few minutes can help it heal faster. Food care Avoid crunchy, acidic, very salty, or difficult to chew foods that could hurt or irritate the area. Turmeric Balm Turmeric is a spice that has proven to be fabulous in helping reduce inflammation and pain. It can be mixed with honey to form a thick paste and applied with a cotton swab to the ulcer every night. Rinsing with chlorhexidine helps keep the area clean and prevent infection. This treatment should not be carried out for more than five days since it could generate changes in the perception of the taste of food or produce stains on the teeth. When should you see a dentist? 
although in most cases the blisters break and the mucosa heals after a few days. On certain occasions, it will be necessary to visit a dentist. If the blister is so large that it interferes with swallowing or swallowing breathing, if after two weeks it has not healed, if you notice redness around the blister, the drainage of pus and heat in the area, if the pain prevents eating and performing daily activities. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.